um, good morning. I wanted to, I guess this is a message, you know, during my prayer this morning, I got a little emotional and I didn't understand why I got a little shaken. I said, ask spirit, you know, speak, speak to me. Um, let me know what's understanding, what, what's going on and why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. Um, and this is exactly the things that I've heard. People do not understand what is going on right now. They're not paying attention. We are being released from things that are not good for us and um, are unhealthy for us. And those who are not being released and still feeling stuck are holding on. It's because they are moving before God and not with God. <clears throat> um, we keep, uh, I don't even know. There's so much going on, so many blessings happening before the year is over, and people are holding on to these blessings, not holding these blessings are going to follow into the new year. And those who feel like they're not being blessed, you need to look back at your life of this year and figure out what are you holding on to and trying to take with you. You cannot take it with you. God is always in our favor, but he gets upset. He, if you do not listen, you cannot take it with you. If you want more, you fight for more. Fight for your life. Um... Those are not understanding what's going on. We go into a beautiful transition. Money is starting to flow. Money is going to flow and continue to flow in people's life. The thing is, you need to learn how to use your money wisely. God will continue to give you and be an amazing provider, but he's not happy with the way things are being used, the way people are being used, the way things are being used, the way money is being used. Money is not the root of all evil. Money is the root of evil. The way for when the way you use it, I can't even get out my words. Um, there's a lot going on, but I, I mean, I have been hearing about blessings, 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 and I'm falling into them. But some people are not. We are continuing patterns that are unhealthy for us, and we have to stop doing that. Because this next year is going to be full of abundance. We're going to have a lot of clarity. We're going to have peace. This mental health thing is going to, and I say thing because it is a thing. And we're going to all get through it. But some of us are trying to take the devil into the next year with us. Why are you holding on to the devil? <clears throat> Why do you get so comfortable with uh, him being in your life? 